Today we'll, we'll tackle um, five topics. These five topics uh, will be the first one we'll cover, we'll show step by step how to uh, estimate or how to calculate the traffic speed data from, from the digitally collected data. The speed calculation in Good Vision is actually it works in a way that uh, you can measure or you can let the, the speed to be calculated on, on any type or any traffic movements on the scene. If it's a straight movement or if it's a turning movement, you can always provide a very simple set of data or information to, to the traffic scene and Good Vision will calculate the, the travel speed for you. The second topic will be um, related. It will be about uh, traffic acceleration or deceleration patterns, how to identify uh, these in, in, in your, on your traffic scenes. The speed measurement in Good Vision works in a way that we are calculating the travel speed with, between two points, between any two points on the scene. You can also create like a smaller segments on your, on your road and you can calculate the speed on every tiny piece of, of the road. And uh, when you compare these, you will get the, the pattern of, of, of acceleration or deceleration. The third topic will be uh, very interesting. It will be about how to calculate uh, saturation flows on your on your uh, traffic scenes automatically. The motivation for us to call to to provide the automated uh, saturation flow calculation is basically to save your time on on manual review of the video. Tradi traditionally, saturation flows are being calculated by you know the traffic engineer, traffic analyst manually reviewing a piece of the video. Uh, typically, uh, a forearm intersection would uh, normally you would take like a couple of hours or even days to 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 calculate uh, to find all these intervals that are needed. Uh, Good Vision uh, Video Insights has contains these algorithms that can calculate it easily from the digital data that is that is collected. And uh, the fourth topic uh, will be about um, more from the unsignalized world, from the traffic safety world. It will be about automated gap acceptance analysis. Uh, the gap acceptance um, is, a, is, a, is the analysis that is mainly used on the unsignalized, unsignalized uh, intersections or roundabouts in order to find, uh, you know, for, for various purposes, for example, traffic safety studies, if it's possible for, for minor streams to, to, enter, uh, to enter the major streams um, comfortably and, and so on. The last topic will be about the dwell time or occupancy time analysis. The dwell time analysis is basically, well, the, the, the use cases can, can differ. You, it is all sorts of um, use cases where you need to analyze what is the, I don't know, occupancy in, in that area or uh, how long uh, does it take for, for I don't know, cars to make a turn, or if there are crosswalks, how long does it take for cars to wait until, until the uh, you know, pedestrians cross the crosswalk. So there's, it's basically about getting the information about how long was certain zone occupied or how long did it take to certain vehicles to to uh, pass through through the movement or pass through the zone.